All right. Hey guys, my name is Doc Shell. Welcome to Dr. Test Prep. I've been making free resources for teens like you guys forever. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use your blue book data effectively to know exactly what you need to study. So I, because this person did way better than what I did, I screen grabbed something from Facebook. So someone posted this, this is what I got. How can I fix it? Okay. So what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to teach you, unfortunately, it's not as easy as it could be. But I'm going to teach you how you can look at your Blue Book data, how you can review it in Blue Book, and then go to Con and practice just the things that you need to know. Hint, you will probably want paper and pencil. I'm just saying. Okay, so first of all, I have logged into my Blue Book account. This is not my score. I'm about ready to share my score with you. And let me tell you, it completely sucks. All right, so before I show it, I want to let you know that I intentionally did not do the reading and writing portion. I looked it up and I was looking at the first question. I'm like, man, I'm not creating resources for reading and writing right now. I just want to do the math. So I randomly clicked. So don't think just because I'm showing this to you like that's my real score. All right, I'm going to click past. So we're in the Blue Book app. You didn't sign in with a ticket. You signed in with your regular Blue Book account where you took a practice test. You can see I did one practice test and now I'm going to click view responses. Here it comes. It's absolutely miserable. Okay. Don't be mad at me. Oh, I have to sign in one more time. And it's totally fine. If you have to sign in, just sign in. Whatever. Okay. It's so bad. It's literally so, so bad. It's like, I don't even think I could get a 300 on the reading and writing if I tried. Like, it's so evident that I didn't try at all. All right. But this is what we're going to do. You have to do two things. The first thing you want to do is you want to click explore every question on Khan Academy. And why this is important is this is the exact test that you took. Remember the practice one that they gave you is um, the practice test they gave you is most aligned with what you're going to see SAT day. And it's they gave you easier, harder questions based on how you did on the first module for each subject. So you need to have this open. Now we're going to go back over here and now we're going to click score details. Now, when I click score details, what's going to happen is you can see all of your questions. What you need to decide first is do you want to focus on reading or do you want to focus on math? Now, considering that I really didn't care. Well, let me just show you. So let's say we want to focus on reading and we can see the first one that, well, you have two options. One, you can click this little thing here and it's going to put all of your incorrect answers at the top. And clearly you can tell I got a lot of incorrect answers, okay? To show you in the math as a better example, when I do this, you can see that in this module, I didn't have anything correct or incorrect, but in this module, you can see that I did. And it was like, um, for the second half, this is where it gets a little crazy. They don't number the questions correctly, but you can see 12, 15, and 21 I struggled with. So I'm going to go back over here to math part two, and I'm going to look for, you would think 12, 15, and 20, but you have to add 22 to it. So 22 and 12 means I need help with question 36. And if I were you, I would probably, you can see I was just watching Ghostbusters, I would probably split the screen just to make sure that I'm looking at the right question. So we're over here, and here you can tell I'm not. So... Let's just find the one that, there it is. So why is it important to do it like this? Oh, that does make sense. 12 plus 22 is 34. Yeah, so I'm in the right place. So I can either read how to do it in, Khan, in Blue Book, which is totally great, or I can go over here, retry the question again without seeing the answer in Blue Book. And then this is what's important. See this word explain? Explain shows you Khan Academy's way of teaching you how to do it, do it. And this is the most, most important, this button right here that says lesson, because now it's going to bring you to the Khan Academy lesson that relates to that question. So you can get a deeper understanding. Let me show you that um, with the reading and writing. So I'm just going to pick this one right here. Okay. So this was the first part, question 16. So I'm going to Head back over here, yes. open up the side panel and go to reading and writing 
And I'm going to scroll down to get to question 16. And right here, so you can tell, see that the topic I need help with is called form, structure, and sense. Like that's what I need help learning. I can redo this question here, like here's the B. I can do the explanation, but again, the most important thing is clicking this word that says lesson, because now it's going to take me to the lesson to teach me about form, structure, and sense. So that's how I would use my time most effectively. I love data. Like I've taught at state conferences, teaching teachers to teach students how to analyze their data. So that's what I'm having you do. I'm having you analyze your data. We are going to Blue Book. We are focusing on whatever came up wrong. Here, this was question 10. So I can go back to the reading and writing, scroll up to question 10. And is it extra clicks? It's extra clicks. But the extra 30 seconds to 45 seconds to find it and then get to the exact lesson, like here's the matching question. I can try it again. I can click explain to read what they say, and then I can click lesson to learn about how to command quantitative evidence, okay? So take the extra 45 seconds to find your wrong answers in Blue Book, find the corresponding lesson in Khan, and do the lesson. That's how you use data to your benefit. All right. This is Dr. Shell. Thank you for watching. I love you. Goodbye.